it's Vanessa with Fitness 23 and today it's all about your feet. All of my clients this week, I've been really working to get people in the proper shoes to get you in the proper alignment to stop that knee and back and feet hurting. If your feet hurt life, you can do nothing. So if you have any feet issues, I'm happy to help you. Listen to my video and let's go. Okay, let's get to what the point of the whole thing is, is to get your feet out of pain. First, I'm gonna talk about insoles, then I'm gonna talk a little bit about my own feet, all that kind of stuff. First thing is, I would say almost everybody tries to ignore their foot pain. And as you see, I have a ridiculous amount of insoles here sent to me by companies. Um, the insole market is gonna be is growing huge, and let's talk about why. So I'm gonna talk about work shoes and running shoes because I work as a security guard besides being an avid runner and personal trainer. So we now spend about 160 to $200 on running shoes. This is kind of the norm now for a high-end pair of running shoes. And all of those running shoes come with this inside. There is no way this is gonna support your foot. If you think you could buy a pair of $180 running shoes and have a perfect life, I'm telling you, you can't. These are made most of the time, they're not even glued in for you to pull out and put something in. I don't think you're told that enough when you buy shoes and you wonder why your feet hurt all the time. So I'm gonna show you some ones that I use and some other great ones, and what the purpose is, what the difference is. First, let's talk about what I'm wearing in on a daily basis, why I love it, what it looks like later. So I discovered the Fulton brand on my own. They did not send me a pair when I first started to work with them. This pair has about 300, 400 miles on it. And then I switched it into my daily shoes for working as a security guard, so standing on them. They're made of cork, they breathe, love that. They don't get hot. And guess what? Because it's cork, it conforms to your foot and to the shoe you put it in. So if you're gonna put it in your running shoes, you leave it in that type of shoe. If you're gonna put it in your security boot, you leave it in that boot. Super important, right? So right now it's in my security boots that I use all the time. And I love to stand in these, they're very comfortable. For me, I love a heel cup. I tend to have a narrower heel in the back and I don't want any movement. This conforms to my foot. I have a huge heel cup. So this is what it looks like and how thick it looks and how deep it looks. And you can really see where your pressure points are on your feet by it being cork and conforming to your foot. So we can see that in the front one, it really goes to the outside of this left foot and to the inside that those bones really hit um, compared to the right one where it's all more even across. It's really good information, but it conforms to your foot. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like brand new because I do have some brand new ones here. And so you can see they're not as deep and there's nothing in the front and the, the arch is a third of what it is once it come, becomes up and conforms to your foot. So it's the Fulton Company, honestly, these last longer than I thought they would, being cork, I was not thinking they'd last long, but really they're more than worth the money at about 35 to $45 a pair. Most of these are in that price range, so super affordable. That's the Fulton Company. I will have um, links everywhere down below of the insoles I'm talking about today. So then I got Flow Soul. Let's talk about Flow Soul. I was not a big, honestly, they spent a lot of money on packaging and I was not a huge fan just on the packaging way because I think packaging is a waste of money, but it's great marketing. And then I saw them and I thought, you know, it's really got a lot of um, technology done into it, um, a lot of different plastics. And I was now having more of an open mind. And I have to tell you, I love, love, love these in my work shoes. Now. I have a high arch. If you have a medium arch or a low arch, these are really, really good. For um, higher arch, not so good for running, but great for standing and great for other kinds of activities like walking or even working out where you're not running. But the constant pound of running, you need a higher arch. And we're gonna talk about the foot issues a little bit later in this video. But if you are working as a security guard, if you're walking a lot at work, I walk about 27,000 steps between my running and my work in a normal day. I think they're amazing in my work boots. If you have heel pressure problems, if you have plantar fasciitis, I really think Flow Soul 
is the insole for you. I love, love, love them. When honestly, I didn't think I would. Also very, very, very well priced. And I think the technology is fantastic. I really do. So I'm super happy with them. That's Flow Sole. Now, something else interesting on the market, and they sent me a bunch of them, and I tried a couple of them. The first one I didn't like, second one I'm in love with, and I'll even show you I'm wearing them as we speak. So, we have this new company, and these make King Foam, and they actually make um, King Foam Elite Orthotics, and they actually come in this box in plastic wrap, and they go in the oven. Yes, they go in the oven and you actually warm them up at 225 degrees and then you walk around them in the shoe with a pair of socks, of course, that you're going to wear them in. And when they start out, of course, they start out and, you know, when you start out with them, they're completely flat and looks like a nothing insole. And then you cook them, literally cook them. And guess what happens? It conforms to your foot. So, as you know, I've said I have an eye arch perfect arch support. I mean, perfect arch support these actually made. Now, I told you I had a couple that I liked and a couple that I didn't. This one I didn't care for. They make four different types of them. You could read all about them. I actually didn't like this one and it was my own fault. And then I liked it a little bit better, but not as much as I would have really on a, on a permanent basis. They're okay. I can have them in a pair of workout shoes. Um, but for me, um, I love the arch support. Make sure when you put them in your shoe, if you like a heel cup, you really scoot them back to make the heel cup, which didn't make as much as I would have wanted it to. And if you like a little bit more toward the outside of the shoe, make sure it goes in there. If you don't like your first one, you can remake them. But if you have an interesting arch that always seems to hurt, I think this is the insole for you because it's gonna to custom to your arch support. Now this pair specifically was made for people with pain up in the balls of their feet, not my area of pain. So this is probably just the wrong insole I never would have chose. You see a lot of advertisement with this company of um, actually um, skateboarders, which I think is interesting, Tony Hawk kind of thing. Um, of course, I will have links down below. I think it's a fascinating company. Um, I'm very impressed, I'm, I'm amazed. I didn't have to trim them at all. There are other ones I would have to trim, um, but these King Film Elites, I think were fantastic. So, let's be honest. They sent me four pair, I didn't care for the first pair, but I did like this pair. And this pair is a very soft rubber underneath, which is the foam on top. And I really found this to be supportive in a very interesting way because it didn't just have arch support here, but it had arch support across the middle. So if I'm standing a lot with a personal training client in my personal training shoes, ah, oh, I'm pretty much in love with these. And I was surprised because I just didn't, didn't think so, but I do like them. And I'll tell you which ones those are in the link down below because there are four different kinds, but it's really an arch support all the way across, right? Which is something very different than most of the ones that we see. Um, so that's all about insoles. And what I think of the latest insoles that I have tried, remember these insoles you get, toss them away. They were not made to be on your feet in your shoes. If your feet hurt, you've got to figure that out to figure out your knee pain and your back pain. Now, I'm gonna show you my feet and we're gonna talk about what I think you look for in shoes when you go to buy a pair of shoes. So now I'm gonna talk about how to buy a pair of shoes, what to look for in a pair of shoes and how to fit for a pair of shoes. I find that most of my clients are in shoes that are way too small, which is creating serious damage to their feet. So that's why I really wanna talk about this. So when you get into a pair of shoes, you have to have at least a finger between your toe and the front of that shoe on your big foot. Everyone has one foot that is bigger than the other. If you don't have this, then guess what? Those shoes are too small. They're smashing your toe, which is smashing against the back heel, which is gonna hurt everything when you're doing um, whatever you're gonna be doing in these shoes, whether it be working out, walking every day, or just living, or whatever it may be. So have that. If you don't have that, we have a problem. If you see in these shoes, my foot is well inside. It is not going over the shoe. 
If your foot is going over the shoe in the front, that means that it's too narrow of a shoe for you. It's gonna cause you to bring that little toe under. It's gonna cause all kinds of problems. And this is what I see. I see people's feet looking like bound feet because their little toes come under and they just look, they're just in horrible pain. They've squashed their feet for so long. It's just horrible. So understand that's not what you should be doing. You really should have a shoe that is big enough, big enough on the side and enough room on the side you're not going over. All right, so let's talk about this a little bit more as it pertains to what your feet look like. Also, I wear really high-end socks. I do all the time wear high-end socks because I don't want my feet to hurt. So I get socks from the Zensa company. They're amazing, they're light compression. They last for years. Literally, I have socks that have lasted me for five or six years. That's why they cost $20 a piece. Also be a link down below, they're amazing. All right, so I have what's called Heglin's deformity in the bump of the back of my heel. That's why I tape my feet, as you see. But what I want you to be able to do is to take your shoe off and I want you to be able to spread your toes. And if you can't spread your toes in your shoe, if you feel your toes pinching when you spread them out, that shoe is just too narrow. Really understand that. If your toes, when they're just down al alone, are just actually all turned under, it's because you've been wearing shoes that are too small. Please wear shoes that are big enough. There is no embarrassment about a bigger size shoe. You should be able to walk around the house without any shoe on. And if you can't, learn to walk in grass and sand to build up your muscles in your feet. Now, I've talked before, I have a very high arch. So when I run, I need a shoe, a, an insole with a really high arch. And I've showed you, of course, the Fulton that I've been running in now. But if that's who you are, you should know that about yourself, what your arch is, and get the right insole for the arch, get the right shoe for the arch, enough spread in the toes, and do not squash your feet in a pair of shoes. Especially running shoes or working shoes where your feet would swell toward the end of the day. So enough about feet. Let's just wrap up this video. So let's wrap up what we were talking about. And it's about whenever I start with a new client, whether they be a personal training client or a running client or someone who's just in pain, it's about your shoes and how to get your feet out of pain. If your feet are in pain, I know you've got lower back pain, you've got knee issues. Let's get those feet out of pain. Let's find shoes that are big enough that are not pinching you, that are wide enough. Let's find insoles that give you the proper support. I went through Fulton insoles. I went through which called um, these, you know, FFP insoles. And of course, I talked about the flow sole insoles. So I talked about all of those insoles and how they work and how they can get you out of pain and back to doing the exercises and living the life you want to live. Of course, any questions you have, I'm happy to answer them. I will put all the links down below so that you can get the proper insoles. Adeline wants to say hi, of course, and get you on the roads, get you out there. Live life. See you soon.